Right, let's get to the board, see how we settled in today's trade. And yeah, negative session for the 200. But you cannot take much away from the month that has been. Fraser McLeod is joining us from Sean Partners in Adelaide. Yeah, Fraser, you're not crying in your cornflakes, are you? Because we've had one down day. Oh, definitely not. Thanks for having me on again. Uh, no, we're uh, not crying in our conflicts. We're, we've been just arguing over whether this has been the, the, the best month for 10 years or the best month for 30 years, depending on how you look at it. So uh, the, the ASX has just put on 13% this month alone, and the month's not over yet. So 700 points, that's a, a meaty amount that, uh, that the market's gone up. And uh, I think we have to gauge that against your sentiment polls are, again, very, very extreme bull um, sometimes in the short term, well, that's uh, that's uh, a contrarian uh, signal. Um, so you wouldn't, uh, you may just watch out that this market could uh, lose a bit of heat on on days like today. But um, it's hard to say now that uh, with the vaccine in place, uh, politics out the window, and, uh, and a clear picture there, it's hard to say that the, the pullbacks are going to be significant. And uh, the the real standout for us has been that the, the value plays are back. So the rotation out of growth into value is um, is going to be an ongoing process. It hasn't been already priced in, in your opinion. Oh yeah, I, I look at the, the 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 starting point between value and growth has has never been wider. So if you look into two thousand and twenty one, you know you, the, that elastic band it only needs to ping back just a little bit, and you could see uh, you know many many value stocks um, go an awful lot higher from here. Um, so it's during the pandemic, obviously everyone was willing to pay for. Strong balance sheets, you know, obvious growth, um, especially around technology. Um, but the situation could change in 2021. There's a lot of cheap stocks out there. Uh, and I'll give you an example. You know, one that we've been uh, we've been quite bullish on recently and met the management this week was Simic. Uh, now, Simic, obviously, the the old Leightons. If you're looking for a beaten up stock, that certainly is one of them. Used to be a fifty dollar stock, and uh, now trading at twenty five dollars uh, in the death march. Uh, they got to eleven dollars a share. Uh, and I'm speaking to management this week, you know, you, you have to get out and find out. And uh, what we certainly found out this week is that um, a, a wall of government stimulus is going to hit. Uh, you know, the, the only way that these governments are going to get out of the the uh, the, uh, the challenges that are ahead is, is fiscal spending. And they're going to go hard on, on big infrastructure projects. That certainly plays into the hands of CIMIC. So roads, bridges, tunnels, effectively. And uh, the, the new management are, uh, are, are able to hopefully, uh, you know, deliver. So... Uh, the worst case with any uh, big contractor is um, unexpected uh, problems through contracts. and uh, But they do have the potential for the, the, the cash flow to improve. We're probably seeing that bottomed out and, uh, and for dividends into next year to start again. So, uh, yeah, you can take your pick on many value plays. Yeah, you're the second person who's had uh, Simic on their buy list that I've spoken with ah. today, or at least a hold, a firm hold. Um, I'm curious, mm. uh, in this environment where it's really hard to find somebody bearish, on equities for all the aforementioned region, re, reasons, yep. uh, do fund managers themselves start to look really attractive? How do you separate the wheat from the chafe there? Sure, um, I think uh, you need to be fairly nimble there as well. So many of the large fund managers, you know, back in March and April were just having huge redemptions and they were four sellers of equities and when they should have been adding to their equities percentage, uh, they were doing quite the opposite. So maybe not the big old clunky ones, um, but some of these hedge funds ha have done incredibly well. Uh, we also, you know, just getting out and finding out, we, we spoke to um, uh, Regal, uh, Phil King, who's always very entertaining. It's, he's very hard to argue against as well when it comes down to markets. And, uh, you know, back in March, you could have picked up uh, Phil King's uh, RF1 hedge fund at, uh, at just bargain, you know, fire sale prices. That stock has trebled and probably will go a lot higher from here. So, uh, you know, it's been a meteoric rise, but they're only just back at, the, at their NTA. They're not trading in a premium as of yet. And um, you, so basically you could have got the, the best fund manager in the country at, uh, at fire sale prices. The, these guys know that the pandemic will pass. And they also know that interest rates are going to stay low for a very long time to come. And also that earnings are improving. Now it's hard to argue that that's not a that's not the, the you know the the, the to have a, a, an incredibly bull case on uh, on equity. So um, it's uh, yeah, it's, you, you're not going to catch me and say that uh, that this market isn't expensive on a, on a trailing PE. Of course it is, but um, it, the the environment for equities uh, still does look bullish from here. It's it's hard. The, the hurdles are just being taken away from. Fraser, you mentioned uh, meteoric rise. Uh, the yeah. energy sector and a lot of energy names individually have had meteoric rises recently. But on a longer term yeah. chart, they're still nowhere near back to the levels that we saw only a couple of years ago or even at the start of this year. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Energy space, is there still more upside to come? And if, you, if there is, what do you prefer in that area? Sure. Well, look at our 
two key theme, themes. I think when I spoke to you last, you know, our two key themes were uh, energy and banks, and uh, and both of those have been on an absolute tear over the past few weeks. Look, we, it, we're starting just to have a bit of a pause on on energy plays. You know, we we'll still have a buy on our key theme, key, our key core pick, which is speech. But um, on some of the others, you know, just they're, they're, they're starting to, to factor in, you know, $66 uh, when, when uh, oil price, when the oil price is in the mid 40s. So uh, maybe just got a bit ahead of themselves. They've had incredible runs over the past few weeks. Um, so wouldn't be going quite hard into the energy plays yet. But um, given time, yeah, sure, they'll, they'll go higher. Maybe not back at, uh, at where they were back in February anytime soon. But um, uh, a lot of the, the strength probably we've already seen in the short term. Okay, Fraser, we'll let you go. We'll let you get on with your day. We have just put on our NAB Charity Trading Day <laughs> hats. I know you're always good up you. for, uh, for raising funds. So, yeah, we'll speak with you soon. Good old. Thanks again. Cheers. See you, Fraser. Thanks Stay safe much. there.